Hello everyone, Prey Scooter here, and welcome back to Let's Play the Legendary Starfy. Last time, we successfully defeated King Ping, and they got punted to Sogwood Forest, but not before coming back to try and tackle Secret 3. Still angry at Starly, by the way. I will not say my words, but I- oh. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? First thing you introduced me to is- well, I mean, at least you give me pearls! Oh. I'm not dead. I'm... I'm alive. Why am I alive? Sorry, I'm very yelly. Very yelly today. I guess for this recording session, I might be a little bit yelly. Whee! Now why is that penguin so slow? God damn, stop that. <laughs> I don't want to die. Stop, 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 stop. Just stop. Hup. Hoo-ya! Hoopla! Hoopla! Chattanooga! Poop! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll eventually get it. Hup! 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 I'm a hurt. Hurt. Hang it up. Hey, buddies. Thanks for the life. Hey, hurt. Are the sounds a little unsettling to you, or are you guys okay with them? Hoopla! Hip! Oh god, single tile Mario, single tile Mario jumps. <laughs> My favorite enemy. No, it's not. Well, there's that part done. So there's two treasure chests here. One's here. It's not here. Good lord, just spit him. All right, I think I know where it'll be down here. It's gotta be down here. I know my quicksand traps. Actually, Mo is not lighting up the list. I'll still come down here, though. Exploration and at that. But yeah, I know last time I mentioned that... I know last time I mentioned that there was a possibility that this stage will be the one that will have... Oh, it's to my right. This will be the stage that might have us, have a, have us come back at a later time to get, to get a certain treasure. I think this is the stage, more or less, I'm not going to pursue getting all treasures in the stage, like, really, purely out of spite, so to say. I'm pretty much just going to get as much as I can, and if I can't get to it, tough dice. Can dice be tough? Oh well. If it can or it can't, you be the judge, I'll be the judge, I'll be the treasure getter. I think I'm going away from it. Uh, Mo is getting... Oh, there it is. Um, how does one get to that? Uh, this way, actually. Yeah. Oh, I should have gone down pit too. That means I gotta do the whole loop all over again. This game likes to make me mad. Look at me getting mad at the game. Quick, sing along. Actually, that's another topic conversation I can bring real quick. Because I actually, I do read the comments. Even though I know I record stuff way in advance, I still read the comments, like, as you guys are re uh, typing them up. So, I'm not totally soulless. I do read what you say, anymore. But, I, I heard you guys writing up the whole, or, type, or expressing your concerns about the fact that Oh no, YouTube's getting mad about people doing covers of music. Brr, you could get taken down. And then I found out via Game Grumps that, like, two weeks later, it's okay, you can sing, it's fine, good God, do the thing. So, I mean, I'm confused as to what's good and not, and not good any- What's good and not good anymore, but I mean, everything with a grain of salt, I guess. I really like the, how tight the mechanics are in this game, where you can where you can make higher than two tile jumps. Uh, most of the treasures here. Oh, well, I got both chests. Now I'm confused. You got Puppleon's diary. Uh, he always wearing the helmet to protect him from the giant escals. 
Oh. That's how you're supposed to figure out how to defeat King Pang. Oops. Damn you. Damn you stupidly stupid memory. Remembering the things you should remember and not remember at the same time. I'm going back in the store. I really do have the weirdest memory where I'll remember something from somebody's LP from like five years ago. But I will not remember your birthday if you told me it was a week from now. I know I'm bad. I'm a terrible person. I'm a terrible human being. And uh, give me your lunch money. I'm taking it now. It's mine. Right in my pocket. There's the exit. Hey, I found the way to the exit. I could go get the little pearl lady, but... Actually, wait. Can I still go get her? Ah, uh, nope. I can't. Oh, well. All's fair and lost in love. I mean, yes. Und wie war? Now that we have taken care of Secret 3 and gotten all the treasure chests in Chili Dip Cove, let's do it properly and head on over to Sogwood Forest. Where Bunsen seems to be having a grand old time. In a fog. With one chest in the area. And maybe a secret. Okay, now this is something I actually remember. Uh, Moshe's gonna ask us about bringing Starly along. Uh, let's see what he has for flavor dialogue. Kiss. It's like a. S split plankton soup? Is that a real thing? Alright, thanks. I'll grab it. Nah, don't, don't worry about it. I'm on it. Well, at least he's much nicer about it now. He. It's cute. Alright. So, this mushroom... Oh, interesting. And actually, this is something I remember about what I've watched ages ago. Don't hit me with your love! Um, the LP I watched ages ago was by somebody who was playing this on an emulator. Uh, at the time, that particular emulator, I don't know which one the person was using, could not, uh, could not handle the whole fog effect that you see going on here. So, instead of being, you know, mostly visible like it is now, what the person had to deal with was very glitchy technocolor textures. Shoot out! Shoot out again! It was very glitchy technocolor textures that... Oh god. Right, this thing moves you fast. Yeah, very glitchy technocolor textures that made it almost impossible to see through. And this is why you... You, you opt for the actual version of the game over the uh, emulated version, most of the time. Sometimes emulators can do it, but... Oh well. I'm not going to be guys going to... That's going to start the emulator versus not emulator war. I'm not going to be that guy. Yeah! <laughs> At least it's not like Earthbound, where if I have a mushroom in my head, I get dizzy. And I start attacking my friends. So anyway, there's that thing here. Maybe that was some kind of, maybe, actually, now that I think about it, maybe the thing I mentioned was actually some kind of way to, uh, what's the word? Brain? Uh, pir protected from piracy, there we go. Girl's all squishy. Squishy, I like squishy things. Whee! Ooh. I like it. It's fun. Now, Mo, is there something I should be worried about here in terms of collectibles or not really? Oh, God. So we have falling platforms. Excellent. Or we have disappearing platforms, I should say. What's down here? What's your enemies? Oh, they look like Toadette. Pearl Lady! Yee. You are a friend to most. Give me more! I want more! I'm Grady! <laughs> Alright, I think that's all that she will give me, so I think I'll go ahead and run from there. Oh! Well, aren't you just a bucket of anger? I'll leave you be, small man complex. What? Hiya! Uh, didn't quite nail it. Why are these bunnies? I just noticed that. Why are they bunnies? I mean, try to fit with the theme that it's Bunston and all, but why are they bunnies? Also, why would I need to... Oh, 
I think I... Hiya! Okay, there we go. I think they literally, like... I think they li I don't think the fog is really so much as a... Like I said before, it's not really a way to... Impede you, because, I mean... I'm not doing anything anything fancy in video editing. What you're seeing is exactly what I'm seeing in, in play. There's nothing wrong with uh, what's going on here. Or, with what's being presented here, I should say. Those pearls were loud. Huh. You know, I want to see what's beyond the door. Ow! You made me drop my friend. So what's beyond said door? Lots of pearls. <laughs> That's my only reward, is more pearls. Anyway, but yeah, again, the fog is more or less just a kind of a piracy gate thing. It's not really even like a difficult thing because, I mean, you can see it for yourself. It's not really that impeding. Again, it's the whole, it's the whole emulated thing that I brought up a second ago. Which I should say, you know, this game is old enough that if you guys decide if you want to emulate it and not try and find a copy, I won't blame you. I will also tell you that I it did not have much trouble finding this game when I did find it, so I mean Use that to your use that to your knowledge when you're signing stuff. What's in here? Getting real on you with topics of conversation today. Mo says treasure. I picked the treasure door. Yeah. Ooh. You... You pooed! How dare you poo at me! Oh, there's treasure. Treasure gate! Mini-G is challenge one! Who's a Mini-G? It is I, Mini-G, the minigame mission! Well, I actually is the proper tone of the game. For lovers of minigames, and all soon-to-be lovers of minigames, now is your chance! I'll introduce you to the newest minigame! Come to see me and suck with Forest if you can! I plan to, sir. Oh, then a... Oh! So there's, like, hidden, hidden levels. They're not even, like, partially... That's the one chest, too. But yeah, there's not even, like, super partially hidden levels. It's just, like, flat out, hey, there's a level here. You should go find it. Okay. Actually dying this time. Ugh. Right, I cannot... I cannot do a lot of voices at, at, at will. I have to have some kind of build-up for practice. I'm getting snobby with my voices, people. If you want more so more more awesome voices, give me like a few minutes to prep up my voice ahead of time. Don't worry, look at better. It's probably just because I just got done eating like half an hour before this episode, so... Hey guys, what's up? Yeah! He got a belly on him that could do this, so I mean... Um, I mean, I'm seeing stars, so I'm gonna guess. <laughs> Can't breathe. <laughs> and that's supposed to be the sound of me falling over dead, but I, you probably can't hear it on the microphone for how low I have the volume on it right now. You'll get, you'll get vertigo. Grab him. Bunsen, welcome to this thing called vertigo. We all have to deal with it. Even you. Monstar! I like Monstar! Oh, auto scrolling Monstar? Okay. I mean, I can do this. Whee! Uh, Oopa! Heepa! I like how it does. It do, like, I like how the scrolling bit doesn't even start until you actually pick up the Monstar power up. Smart programming, smart programming. I wish they kind of did a little bit more with Super Princess Peach, but eh. You can only ask for so much from a game that's got like two licensing thing work working for it. Yep. Whoop -ah. or, or, yeah, you can only ask so much from a game that's working with a license and it's like, hey, we want this game to be about this lady. Make her cool. Make her cool. Okay. I really just did knock like Peach down like 30 pegs with that one sentence, didn't I? Yeah, well. What can you do besides knock her down another 13? I was looking at something and just realized I was being assaulted by mushrooms. 
Oopa! Can I go back? I have to go back. Don't worry, we're safe. Does that, sta does that screen stop? Science poison now. <laughs> oh. That looks like poison. Let's be careful with our movements! It won't let me be careful with my movements. Hun! Why is there a poison snake up here? I mean, I get the whole mushrooms joke, but seriously! Oh, you... Oh, oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> I can swim in it? Okay, well, you're being a butt. How would you stop being a butt and let me finish the stage, huh? How's that sound? Peace off. Alrighty, well, that being done, we completed stage 4-1 and found everything within it. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and I think next time, instead of moving on to the next stage, we'll start off by doing the minigame. I'll see you folks then.